Conrad was born in San Antonio, New Mexico, the second of eight children. Before he was 18, Conrad worked as a trader, a clerk, a bellboy, and a pianist. By the age of 25, he had worked in politics and in banking. In 1919, following the death of his father, Conrad left the army and went to Texas. He had intended to take advantage of the oil boom by buying a small bank. Instead, he found bank prices prohibitive and hotels so overbooked that he couldn't even find a place to sleep. When one owner in Cisco, Texas complained that he would like to sell his property in order to take advantage of the oil boom, Conrad struck a deal. Conrad pulled together an investment group and the funds were transferred within a week. The Mobley in Cisco, Texas became Conrad's first hotel. The hotel was book solid and Conrad and his partner L.M. Drown rented their own beds and slept in chairs in the office. They also converted much of the hotel's public space into additional guest quarters. With the Mobley running smoothly, Conrad bought two more properties in Texas in 1920, the Melba in Fort Worth and the Waldorf in Dallas, named after the prized New York Hotel. In 1925, Conrad built his first hotel to carry his name in Dallas. With expansions well underway, Conrad consolidated his properties into a corporation in 1929, the same year the stock market crashed. The El Paso Hotel was completed in November 1930 and opened with fanfare. A year later, Conrad owned eight hotels and was more than a half a million dollars in debt when a young bellboy slipped him $300, his entire life savings, so that Conrad could feed himself and his family. In 1931, the Moody family of Galveston, Texas, from whom Conrad borrowed, took possession of, of his hotels when he defaulted on a $300,000 loan. The Moody's then hired Conrad to manage their own hotels and his, known as the National Hotel Company. Nine months later, in 1932, Conrad and the Moody's decided to part. The separation, however, was in no way peaceful. The Moody family and Conrad sued and countersued each other regarding the terms of their agreement for separation, which Conrad claimed allotted him one-third of the hotels and one-third of the stock if the arrangement failed to prove satisfactorily. In 1933, while Conrad continued to battle the Moody's in court, the Moody's defaulted on a loan for the El Paso Hotel, and Conrad managed to raise the necessary $30,000 to buy back that hotel. In 1934, Conrad settled with the Moody's, who lent him $95,000 and returned the Lubbock, Dallas, and Plainview hotels to him. According to Conrad, while the Depression-era hotel owners saved less than one out of five hotels that they owned, Conrad emerged with five of his eight hotels and was debt-free by the summer of 1937. That is the beginning of the global billion-dollar Hilton fortune. I have already beat Warren Buffett in the past 12 years, and I think that we're going to do much better than Conrad Hilton because we were aware and prepared for this collapse. Now back to how to best profit off this paradigm shift. A better plan, I feel, is not to sell your silver to buy income-producing properties. Let me remind you that these properties are going to be awesome investments, and they will have very little competition and extremely low price-to-earnings ratios due to the lack of credit. A better strategy is to borrow against your silver and acquire the income-producing properties. This surefire, tax-free strategy will be a win-win for us all. Conrad bought that hotel in 1934 at one times earnings, meaning that $30,000 loan he took out to buy that hotel outright was paid off in one year's time with the profits from the hotel. In one year, not only did he have no debt, but he probably had no competition, and even if he did, he would have had a huge competitive advantage over them since he had no debt. If we borrow against our silver to buy income producing properties, theoretically, in one year's time we would have all of our silver and debt free income producing property and no loss of investable assets. The best part about this is it's a very repeatable event. Now before you get too excited about this idea, I have a much much better idea. But let me ask you a couple questions. Do you like where I'm going so far? Do you think that I've thought about this long and hard? Do you think that this is something achievable on a personal level? And do you think this information will dramatically change your life?